For the fourth time in a week, the state is setting a new record related to the pandemic with more than 2300 new infections reported in the past 24 hours. That is the highest single day increase since the pandemic started back in March. We seem to be saying that a lot lately. We know 135 people were admitted to the hospital and 66 more people died, which pushes Ohio's death toll to more than 5100. In Hamilton County, leaders are echoing Governor Mike DeWine. They say residents need to keep their guard up as local hospitalization rates from COVID-19 hit the highest point so far during the pandemic. Reporter Marielle Carbone has more on the numbers here and how our health systems are responding. The president of UC Health says that the number of COVID-19 cases here in our region is doubling every 10 to 14 days. Now that's a rate we haven't seen here yet, so he says that's concerning, but he also says our response efforts here locally are better now than they were at the beginning of the pandemic. The number of COVID-19 cases in Hamilton County is up. Hospitalizations, they don't lie. And health experts say it's not just because of more testing. The number of tests performed will show an increase in cases if we're testing more. That's accurate. But what's what's not able to be hidden is somebody who ends up in the hospital because of COVID. That's a true reflection of how much COVID there is in our community. As of Tuesday, 214 people are currently hospitalized with COVID-19 in this eight county region. 49 are in ICU beds and 28 are on ventilators. We are at the greatest number of people hospitalized for COVID-19 at any other point in the time of this pandemic. Dr. Richard Lofgren, president of UC Health, calls that concerning. But he also says our local hospital systems are more prepared than ever to deal with an influx of cases. We actually now do have what appears to be an adequate amount of PPE and other equipment and supplies. Plus, there is more knowledge on treatment options early on, preventing some cases from becoming more severe. There's also stronger communication between and among hospitals, nursing homes, and public health officials. This group has continued to work together collaboratively, sharing information. Despite all the improvements in handling the spreading virus, the goal remains the same, to stop it and to keep the numbers down. This rise is not inevitable. We have control over this. We have tamped down this curve in the past. We just need to do it again and rededicate ourselves to doing what we know works. And Dr. Lofgren says that there are no plans in the near future to reactivate the Duke Energy Center as a makeshift hospital space to increase the amount of beds we have available here. But he says if it did come to that and we needed to, staff could flip that center quickly. Reporting in Coryville, Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.